How are you? Good. So, inshallah, today we were going to start the Sunnah Acts of the Prayer because last time we finished what? Obligatory. Good job. Last time we finished 14 no, obligatory. Do okay. Just raise your hand when you want to speak, okay? okay? Last time we finished obligatory acts of the prayer. I won't ask you what were those obligatory acts, but you remember Hibban and Fatima? Yeah. If we miss any of those obligatory acts knowingly, what we have to do? We have to repeat, we have to repeat the prayer. But if you miss any of those obligatory acts, let me finish the question. If you miss any of the obligatory acts deliberately, forgetfulness, and you remember in at Tahiyat or Tashahud that oh, I didn't perform that obligatory act, what do you have to do? You have to do Sajda Sahab. Absolutely, you have to do Sajda Sahab, okay? Um, now we are going to discuss Sunnah acts of prayer. Hiban, you have a question? No. Okay, you know Sunnah or recommended the same thing here, okay? okay? So Sunnah or recommended acts of the prayer. It means what? It means if you will do these acts, you will get huge, huge reward. But if you will miss by chance, by mistake, you should not miss. But if you miss by chance, saying A'udhu Billah before Surah Fatiha. It means your salah is accepted without, without making two sajda. Is it clear? Yeah. Why? Because saying A'udhu Billah is highly recommended but it's not obligatory. Does it mean Hibban that you should not say A'udhu Billah? No. You should say, right? Does it mean Fatima that we should never say Bismillah in salah? No, it, you have to say in your heart. Yeah, but why we have to say? Because it's Sunnaya or recommended act of the prayer. Okay. By chance, if you didn't say Bismillah, then you don't have to repeat the prayer because it's not one of the obligatory prayer. Obligatory acts. Okay, so let's start. Saying first takbir in prayer. Hibban, only you will answer. Saying first takbir. Is it obligatory or recommended? Obligatory. Good job. Give me an iPad. Why does Sayyid say that? Oh, I'm sorry. Huh? Why does Sayyid say that? I'm coming. So after saying, let's say after you say, Allah, Allah Akbar, Akbar, where you have to put the hand? Yeah. You can put on chest, you can put either upper part of belly, you can put on the belly button. Either way is fine, is it clear? Either way is fine, is it clear? Okay. As long as your right hand is on top of your left hand, you can put here, you can put here, or you can put here. Absolutely, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, once you do this, once you do this, Fatima and Hibban, then you have to recite Thana. What? Thana. Thana. Thana is actually this. If you see, Thana is actually this. You must have heard this before. Yeah, I oh. can you can you read Fatima? Very good. Good job. Good job. Excellent, mashallah, Fatima. Hey, Ban. Now you will read the translation of this and I'll explain it to you, okay? Okay. What does it mean? Oh. Actually, before I can even ask Hibban, before I can even ask you, this entire is actually, you have to begin your prayer, you have to begin your salah with this. It's extremely, extremely important that you do not jump to Surah Al-Fatiha directly, you should start with this, okay? Is it obligatory? It's not obligatory. So if you miss this somehow, your prayer is still accepted. But, does it mean that you have to miss this? No! Good job. I don't know it. You're, you don't have to miss it. Okay? But if you miss it, you don't have to repeat it. Okay? I don't know this thing. Okay, no worries, inshallah. Let's just recite, re let's read translation, Hibban. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. What's the translation? Oh, Allah, glory. Okay, I will help you. O oh Allah, glorified Praise and praiseworthy. praiseworthy. Oh Subhan, Allah. Subhan means glorified and hamd is from praiseworthy. It means in a simple English, 
that all praises, all thanks, all compliments, all glorification is for whom? Allah. Allah. Is it clear? After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to praise him also for his message. Yes. Okay. Is it clear, Hibban? Okay. Then, what smuka? What does it mean? I'm blessed in your name. Good job. Is and blessed, you? either in your name is also fine, is your name is also fine. Is it clear, Hibban? Yes. Yeah. What and blessed is your name or blessed in your name? Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then, what does it mean? I'm high in your majesty. Majesty. Majesty means I'm power. Majesty means power, power. or status. Power. Allah is powerful, right? Yes. Yeah. So, Allah, high is your majesty. You are the most powerful in um, in whatever we know on the on earth, okay? Yes. Yeah. Um, and no one worthy of worship except you. Good job. And no one is worthy of worship except you. Why? Because he made us. Good job! Give me a high five. This is a great answer, Hibban. Because who made us, who is our creator, he will be the most deserving of worship, right? Not the idols whom we made. And then we are supposed to worship idols. Right? We are supposed to worship the one who has created us, right, Hibban? Yeah. Good job. Yes, Fatima? In English, in English, Fatima. Whenever we did dua, I forgot what no worries, inshallah, just keep trying, keep I learning, and eventually you will be able to memorize this. Okay, Fatima? Okay. I don't know it. No worries, we can do it together. Read, read, read with me, Hibai. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Okay, read it again. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Wa bihamdika. Good job. What tabarak smuka? What tabarak smuka? What taala jadduka? What taala jadduka? Wala ilaha gayruka? Wala ilaha gayruka. Good job. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. So our first act of sunnah is done, and which was Same. saying sana. This dua is called as sana. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Let's move to the second act of Sunnah. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What's the second act of Sunnah? Fatima. Second act of Sunnah reading Aaudhu Billahi Mina Shaitan Good job. After you recite Subhanakallahumma bihamdika wa tabaraka smuka wa ta'ala jadduka. Good job, Hibban. Wala ilaha gayruka. Then you have to recite this. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeeb Bismillah Don't move forward Okay A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeeb Shabbat Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeeb Okay. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. What does it mean, Hibban and Fatima? When you say A'udhu Billahi, yes, yes. Thanks be to Allah. Think about it, Hibban. Hibban, Hibban. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. Wait a minute. What did it have? It have Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? Yeah. It have? It have? It have? What is this? What is this? A'udhu Billahi Min? Say Shaitan. Do you remember anything we discussed about a dua which have Allah and Shaitan in it? What we are doing in that dua? Uh, we are doing the. You are seeking something, right? Seek. We are seeking. Good home. job. Good job. Good job. Okay. What's the translation, Fatima? Then. Uh, uh, oh, Allah, pr Allah protect us from Shaitan. I seek. Protection. From Protection. From With Allah, right? With Allah. From so you are asking Allah 
To protect you from? Satan. I feel like killing. You're in a camp for Satan the cursed. Cursed scout. Cursed. Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, kick him out of the gen uh, kick him out of the heavens? Mm. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And Allah so, so basically he was the one who denied to perform sajda to Prophet Adam. Yeah. So eventually he was kicked out of the heavens where he was enjoying the high status because he disobeyed Allah. And because he did not perform one sajda, he was kicked out. Can you imagine how many sajdas we do not perform if we are not praying? Fatima? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? But still Allah is forgiving us, right? Okay. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. I seek protection with Allah from Shaitan. The curse. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. From next class, inshallah, we are going to discuss um, the reading Bismillah. Is it clear? Good job.